We've got rollbacks and motorhomes and dump trucks. Oh my! We use diesel in just about everything around here from tractors to dump trucks. Even our poor old race truck. She's a diesel too. Diesel trucks, diesel repairs, how to's. It's kind of become the bread and butter of this here channel. I used to do some tractor work and some home repairs. I actually got a few of those coming up still. To be honest guys, I get so few views on that kind of video. It barely even motivates me to hit that record button. Now, I'm going to tell you a few things that I've accomplished. Encourage you guys to accomplish things in your own life. But, I'll just be honest. I do a lot better with the evergreen content. Meaning things that people can search. How to fix their 7.3 IDI diesel. How to fix their 6.9 IDI diesel. Things like that gain a lot more views for me than just a, hey, I did this. Because, come on, guys. Let's face it. I ain't some popular big name YouTuber yet. But even though I'm not making much of a video this week, just kind of a quick check in, I feel like I owe my regular subscribers, my regular viewers, at least that much because some guys come back and they drop comments and they watch every video that I produce. To you guys, God bless you, really appreciate you. You keep me motivated. By people keeping me motivated, I'm able to keep preaching to you guys, believe what God gave you, take on some projects, build, fix, create, make progress in your life, guys. So, without further ado, this is how my weekend went. Got my old country coach's roof all sealed up. She's been on the market to sell for a while. This is the new owner, taking off on down the road. Bye bye, Beluga. Next, it was time to start thinking about the upcoming winter. I went and got a nice load of pine logs. I know, people are going to say, oh, but pine's not very good firewood. Well, you know what? The price is right. You can't find any other kind of wood around me. Really, you can't find any wood around me. you got to drive about an hour to get it. But price-wise, you cannot beat the price of pine. So that's one of the woods that I picked up. I also went and visited an orchard. They have cherry wood. That's one of the better firewoods you can get. So between the two, I'll be all right. Hopefully the driver of this truck comes out all right too. There was two kids in the truck that walked away, but dad took the life flight. That little pickup passed by me in the slow lane. He was in the fast lane and I could see his back end of his truck, his rear axle and tires just a bouncing. And I looked at it and I just thought, man, that does not look right. Maybe he's got bad shocks or his tires are out of balance or something. Next thing I know, a big chunk of rubber comes flying out from under his rear bumper. He starts a fish tailing and he got off the road and he rolled about three times, guys. So I just ask you, take the time, go about, check your tires. I don't want to see you guys, my subscribers, in that kind of situation and send a prayer upstairs. Make sure this dad walks away, he's all right in the end, and gets home to his kids. I'm not saying none of this to complain. Honestly, I'm glad to be in a state of mind these days, clean and sober and willing to wait for cops. I stood beside that road for almost two hours, helping out, guiding traffic, setting up uh, uh, traffic triangles. I was the first person on scene. I'm the one that dialed 911 and got the ambulance on the way, but we're pretty rural. It took that ambulance about 45 minutes to get there, guys. My weekend still wasn't over yet. I was asked by this neighbor building a new house to help him move all that gravel around with the tractor as well as dig him a trench for his electrical installation. Yeah, you're starting to catch on, right? Any one of these projects would have made a great YouTube video had I just set up a tripod and recorded it. But no, my dumbass did. You see that stump? That used to be a tree. I helped my neighbor get all the wood moved up to his place so he can make firewood as well. Speaking of fires, this is the view off my front porch. It's been smoky like this for about a week. We're absolutely surrounded by fires, so if you would, send a prayer upstairs. Ask the good Lord to watch over our firefighters, our first responders, and try to help us get this stuff under control.
Till next time, believe in your God-given hands, take on some projects, keep building shit.